It's these workouts that I come in and I feel like nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna be shit. Too many days late, you know, too much bad eating habits with how busy I've been at work and I'm not getting any steps in and I'm not active in my machine. And then I come in and I got my music and I got the mindset and I flip that switch because that's who I am. <laughs> that's who I am. This is who I am, Mr. Heavy Duty. Like I would come in and have a bad workout? Never, never. All right, all right, Heavy Duty crew, it is. Wednesday, August 21st. It's leg day. I'm about uh, four days past due on legs. I am not feeling 100%. I have been crazy busy with work the last couple weeks, putting in the overtime, getting early, staying late, all that jazz, man. Being a wage cuck, fucking gotta pay bills. You know what I'm saying? So today's leg work's gonna look a little different. I've been cooped up in a cab of a machine for all of those hours. So my knees don't exactly feel so good. You know, being forced sitting in a seat all day running controls dredging and mowing and all kind of stuff so yeah 10 hour day sitting man knees don't feel so good so what i want to do is i'm just going to switch the order of the things i train and i'm going to do hamstrings adductors abductors and some lighter quad work first before i would go into something like the press you know and another thing too is i just not feeling so hot so rather than exposing myself to really really heavy loading at the beginning of the workout and that just smoking me and ruining me i'm going to approach things a little different so a couple things to note you know even the competitive bodybuilding man I, I find it hard to get into the gym some weeks you know this is one of those weeks that things just stack up and thank god for high intensity training you know thank god for this heavy duty 3.0 stuff because if i was dependent on five days a week training or some kind of high volume split i'd be i'd go nowhere you know i'd think the world was ending i know that after this workout i will be significantly fuller and bigger just from the stimulus and the, the redeployment of all these intra-workout carbohydrates and everything else i'm gonna fill out i'm gonna look like i'm supposed to and i'm gonna feel like i'm supposed to i'm gonna get back on track so thank god for heavy duty thank god for hit it's hard man it's hard working for a living providing for a family and trying not to take too much away from them if i was a selfish individual i'd say fuck you guys i'm going to the gym tonight my wife hair falling out <laughs> turning gray my kids destroying my house and it's like bye y'all see you later i gotta do this but it's not like that you know i don't want it to be like that so time was made the opportunity presented itself and it's time to uh, get back on track so i'll see you on the first exercise gyms all right we have increased the core body temperature or rather the temperature of the muscles in my core get it we, we warmed up to do abs so uh yeah <laughs> The cable crunch. Just gonna use this handle today because I'm lazy and it was already on there. And besides, my hands are just hooks, so all is well. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing the do-rag, when you see the primary with a do-rag on, it means I'm about four weeks past due on my scheduled haircut. Aesthetics are important, so I'd rather you see this than the nap underneath. So, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it might be a thumbnail right there. That, that might be the thumbnail. We're gonna go up a bit. We're at 110. See how 130 feels? I'm gonna take this off because I'm gonna be grunting in it. I'd say that worked. I mean, ow, it doesn't feel good doing it, you know, but I feel what I wanna feel. And that's my abdominals contracting, hardening, getting pumped, filling with blood, activating. I wanna feel what I'm training. And that's not some uh, rely on your feelings type bullshit. It's simply a observable effect of training with intensity in the right direction. So I'm gonna move on to calves. 
always get the quad shots, but check this out. Y'all always getting the quad shots, but check that out right there, huh? What we, what we worked on for so long, huh? What we always said we wanted to bring up. Look at that. Look at that right there. Power. Power. It's because I vape. That's how I've exceeded my power level. Progressively overload nicotine consumption. Nah. So I had this thought I wanted to share with you guys. I think it's a real good one. I have good thoughts. Um, <laughs> so, you know, the idea of making a lightweight heavy is foolish. We train heavy relative to our progression, right? We wanna train heavy so that we require more effort that's actually stimulatory. Doing reps slow or putting yourself in extreme ranges of motion to make something difficult merely adds to your rate of perceived exertion. It's not the actual force that is applied through effort. Am I making sense, guys? Because you make something hurt more does not mean that you're producing more force through effort and getting more mechanical tension. You need to train heavy. And I've noticed this, and I had this thought earlier today, that why is it when I use lightweights, they feel heavier than when I put more weight on the bar? And then it feels natural and it moves well. It's because I'm trying to emphasize extra control over it and move slower. So it's just, I'm tiring myself out more. I'm making it more work than it actually is by manipulating the way I move. I'm increasing my perceived exertions, right? It's just a fake perception. It's not real. This, this is how you make shit grow. This is how you ensure high levels of effort, which is with higher loads, okay? High levels of effort dictates whether you make gains or not. I'm sorry, whether you stimulate growth or not. The other shit is what makes the gains, but going up 90 pounds from last time, it's gonna be heavy. Uh, one thing I like to do on a, a leg press, calf press, is, is the knees slightly bent rather than having my knees locked out. As you'll see, relative to my ankle, or my heel rather, my toes are gonna come back further and it's gonna put my ankles in less of a bind. It's just something you'd have to feel. This is a feeling I care about because it determines whether I'm gonna get injured or not. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. way over the rep range but that's okay we'll put five plates on it next time five plates aside man it's these workouts that i come in and i feel like nothing's gonna happen it's gonna be shit too many days late you know too much bad eating habits with how busy i've been at work and i'm not getting any steps in and i'm not active in my machine and then i come in and i got my music and i got the mindset and i flip that switch because that's who i am <laughs> that's who i am this is who I am, Mr. Heavy Duty. Like I would come in and have a bad workout? Never, never. The other days I stayed home. Today I didn't. Today it's time to be the Primarch, the leader of the Hit Legion, baby. On our eternal crusade to make gains for the aesthetics of mankind. Yeah. I can't get enough of that shot right there. Look at those knots and those lumps, those lines. Ooh, yeah. We was admiring the hamstrings, wasn't we? We was just then. It's so funny to do the talk through. I've been over halfway, but decided I wanted to do uh, lying hamstring curls. Yes, seated hamstring curls are superior. You're training the hamstring in the length of position, but this gives me a great stretch and contraction. And uh, this is the gnarliest hamstring machine I have ever used. This motherfucker feels heavy and uh not to go against what i said earlier but i physically can't move a lot of weight on this machine so we know that effort is high whoever set this one up has a great setup i like where the pad's at 
in my warm-up set, it uh, felt really good. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna attack it. Feel free to mire, to mire these hamstrings, not the ingrown hairs. Don't, don't pay attention to those, but look at all that. Imagine if I wasn't with a half inch of body hair. I, I think I could compete this weekend. There's a show this weekend, but I decided not to do it because uh, I didn't have the money and kind of glad I didn't decide to because work has been super crazy. And every time I go into peak week or the last couple weeks before a show, I end up with these gigs where I'm stuck in a machine for like, you know, 10 to 12 hours a day. So I, I want to compete again already, guys. I'm just staying in such good shape as we just saw. But, uh, but hey, we're here to train. We're here to train. So let me do that. Let me stop flexing on y'all. Get to work. I want to rest pause this for one or two more reps just because I felt my, my butt wanting to come up. I know I was engaging my glutes, but my hamstrings are hurting right now. All right, that was enough. I'm all wet after that one. Oh. oh, yeah, the pump has taken away all the definition. Oh, it feels good to be back. I didn't feel like myself. Now I do. We came in today with a little bit different plan than what we've normally done, right? And one of our key tenants is progressively overload everything. So today we're gonna try to do that. And we have been where we, where it applies on the cable crunch, on the calf press. I haven't done the hamstring curl, but that's okay. Here, I'm gonna try. Now it's a skewed data collection because the order of operations is different, but let's focus on the other principles, okay? When coming in and doing some intuitive training, you know, normally I'd be very against intuitive training for like everybody. I would tell them not to do it. Just don't go in and do what you feel like doing. Unless you understand the proper principles of training, like the real ones, the actual ones. Effort being paramount, using heavy loads to create high levels of effort. Training with low volume to ensure that only stimulation occurs and not excessive damage. If you could train under those principles, and that's what you live by, then when you come in to train intuitively, you're still gonna get that success out of your workout. It's still gonna be worth it. So despite that it being a little different looking today, it's gonna be effective. And why is it gonna be effective? Because number one, it's specialized for hypertrophy. Effort and loads are super high. Number two, everything I'm choosing to do is very, very stable and efficient at producing mechanical tension relative to the amount of fatigue that is accumulated. Number three, because I'm the motherfucking Primark and everything I do is going to yield me a benefit or else I ain't doing it. All right, enough shit talk. I really hate myself, guys. I don't think I'm much of anything other than a giant loser. I'm having trouble dry humping these pads while I set the weight stack up. So look at this hamstring drop. I want y'all to mire this during the set. Here we go. Ooh. Boys, feeling, feeling real good now. We are in the groove. We are back to ourselves. You know, when I took the pre-workout in the truck headed here, it kind of just felt funny, felt weird, felt sick, knowing nothing was going good this last two weeks. 
a lot of stress in the part of my personal life, you know, but man, seeing the gains, feeling the intensity. It's a mindset, horse cocking it in here. <laughs> So here we're gonna move on to the um, abductors. I wanna work the sides of the legs, man. Sides of those glutes and the hips, tying down into the side of the leg. I want all that stuff to be better, to be more defined from the side, create more lines. And I think we're gonna get it because every time we've said that and actively worked towards it with the proper principles of training, it happened. It's gonna happen again. Maybe word for the wise, don't train your adductors first <laughs> because my legs are so full, my adductors are so full that I am having trouble squeezing them together to lock this machine in. Big boy problems. And I don't feel a difference whether I lean forward or back, so I'm just gonna stabilize and get in the chair, man. Ah, that's heavy. That was brutal. It sucked. That was hard and heavy. It's so rewarding. It's so rewarding, guys. Join me. Join the Legion. All right, I feel like everything else got a real good hit aside from the medial part of the glutes. But now it's time to, uh, to hit the old quads. Quads are very dominant, man. Looking at the, the last showing on stage, man. The legs have become such a strong suit. So imposing, filling out the X-frame, creating the look. I mean, just look at that. That's awesome. Hell yeah. So, uh, <laughs> let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it isolateral. So one leg at a time. I think I'm gonna start with the left side. That's the side I don't like as much. Wait, no. Actually, I don't like my right leg as much as I like my left. So we're gonna do the right leg first. I don't need to talk to y'all. Rest pause because I feel like pain could have been a factor. Pain, pain. Yeah, say pain 10 times and then do another rep. Pain, 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 pain. pain. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
When you hit that top set, man, my arms are like my legs. When I start training them, they look worse and worse as the workout goes. It's not like they're something that looks better and better. All that blood going to those muscles, muddies up the surface area, fills in the lines. The lines just aren't there as much. Inflammation's in, so I enjoy that beginning of the workout, mid-workout. I'm like, oh yeah, shit looks good. And then as you go further and further in, it uh, it's just business. It's been a minute since we did a little physique check and some posing, so I think I'm gonna do that, get a look at it. When I see myself at home, I think I'm shrinking by the day and look like shit, but then as soon as I see myself here in the gym, I'm like, oh, hell yeah, we still got it, babe. So <laughs> let's see what you guys think about it. Lightning, lighting might not be ideal, but another reason I'm gonna take all my clothes off is because I have to put new clothes on. I am soaked. Let's take a look, see what happened. What you guys see in the camera but i know what i see in the front facing and i'm very happy with it it looks like i could compete this weekend and, and take top three if i wanted to but there's also just the knowing that everything i'm doing in the gym is effective and i'm growing from it so i can look great and grow <laughs> well it's a great workout intuitive went around some things felt great actually i feel a lot less fatigued after this workout a lot less beat down a lot less sick feeling and yeah that's the lack of stress from the you know thousand pound leg press or whatever so yeah effective workout covered all the bases felt great performed great looked great what more can i ask for nothing you know part of me is like oh well should i do some pit shark rdls or maybe some hack squats like no dude you did it you did everything you needed to so try this workout guys absolute banger Remember, gents, 
whatsoever thou settest thy hand to do, do it as unto God and not as unto men. Ave Imperator, the crusade is eternal. And effort over everything. I'm Primar Billy and I'm out.